We hope that this new bubble back emerger will become one of your new favorites. Here's how you tie it. Bubble back emergers are typically tied with a glass bead on the back of the fly. This one uses a new technique in tying with original larva lace body material. Trim a really small piece from this hank, about an inch or an inch and a half long, and then we're gonna take a six or seven inch piece of ultra fine wire and double it in half. Put the ends together and insert them into one end of the larva lace, and then begin to thread it through the larva lace tubing. And just spin your fingers um, with on the larva lace and, and twist the wire to ensure that it moves through the larva lace body material. Once you get through to the end, just go ahead and pull both of those ends together to close the loop on the other side. This is gonna allow you to bring a piece of crystal mirror flash through that original larva lace body material, kinda like you would run electrical wires through a wall. So insert a small portion of that crystal mirror flash into the loop of, those, of that wire and then just pull it through the larva lace material. It pulls through really easily. The wire will let go at the end. Set that aside for use as the rib on the fly. And then you can go ahead and put a hook in your vise. This is a Daiichi 1120, size 18. We're using burnt orange 70 denier thread. Get a base started uh, about an eight, eighth of an inch back behind the hook eye and uh, wrap rearward and trim off the, the tag piece. Then we're gonna go ahead and tie in that uh, ultra fine wire that will act as our rib. And we're gonna wrap that all the way back to the bend of the hook shank and down the bend just a little bit before we bring our thread uh, forward again to build up a small base uh, for the body of the fly. Once we get to the original tie-in point, we're just going to make open spiral wraps with our ribbing material. Bring that ribbing material, the ultrafine wire, all the way back up to the original tie-in point uh, where you can capture it down with a few thread wraps and helicopter off the excess wire. Next, we're gonna grab that newly created bubble back material in the larva lace body material with the crystal mirror flash inserted, and we're going to tie it in uh, as the, the wing case of this fly. Uh, the, the bulk can be diminished if you just cut that at a more pronounced angle. I had a very small angle cut on mine, but it's okay to have a little bulk because when you fold that bubble back material over the top, the bulk is going to further pronounce that, that bubble back wing case and, and it makes it look really good. But if you want to lessen that bulk a little bit, just trim that larva lace at a more pronounced angle before you tie it in. To cover up the exposed thread, we're gonna use some Firestar dubbing. I love Peacock, it's my favorite color of Firestar. Make a small noodle on your, on your thread and cover the exposed thread wraps with your dubbing. And then we're just gonna fold over that bubble back material, that original larva lace tubing, and capture it with a few thread wraps. You might need to spin your thread counterclockwise to flatten it out a bit to ensure that you can grab the larva lace material. Once you make a few wraps over the top and a few wraps underneath, go ahead and add a half hitch or a whip finish over the top of the tubing. And then I also like to go underneath and add a couple half hitches uh, under the eye of the hook as well, just to make sure it's super secure. After you make your half hitches and your whip finish, go ahead and trim your thread, pull your larva lace body material forward and trim it straight up to get a flush cut uh, at the head of the fly. And then go ahead and add some UV resin to make sure everything's solid. Hit it with the light uh, to keep it in place. And you have a new bubble back emerger pattern that we hope will help you catch a lot more fish. These are all the materials you're gonna need to tie the new bubble back emerger. Head down to your local fly shop and ask for larva lace by name. If they don't have what you need, go to hagensfish.com or email Lori at the shop and she will get you set up with the best synthetic fly tying materials on the market to tie any flies that you need. When you're done creating your unique patterns, head to Fly Tying University on Facebook and, and share them with a growing community for all fly tires. Larva lace is a proud partner of the Fish Stories archive at fishstories.org. 
As always, thanks for tying with Larval Lace products and thanks for being a part of the Larval Lace community. Tight lines and well-tied flies from Larval Lace. <laughs>